Hi, I'm Chad with WC Branham. In this video, we will discuss how to properly size and select a caliper disc brake for your next braking application. The goal is to calculate the amount of torque required for your application and choose a cost-effective and efficient brake and disc combination. There are a number of different styles of brakes that should be considered, from active pneumatic, active hydraulic, lever mechanical actuated brakes, and spring applied brakes, either air released or hydraulically released. There are three main types of applications that we typically see. They include dynamic stopping, static holding, and tensioning applications. In this video, we will discuss the three differences between these applications. For dynamic stopping applications, we will consider all of the application variables, including the weight of the rotating mass, the radius gyration, dependent on the shape of the mass, the RPM, and the stopping time. With those variables, we will calculate the amount of torque required for your application. Once we determine the amount of torque, we'll refer to the available brake models and the resulting tangential force that they provide. We will multiply that times the braking radius for a desired disc diameter, and that will tell us if the brake and disc combination has the required torque for your application. If it's a frequent stopping application, we'll want to consider the energy generation and the heat dissipation and make sure that the brake disc combination can adequately dissipate the heat. We will also calculate friction pad wear life and make sure that the friction material lining and the service life is adequate for your application. The next type of application is static holding. These applications are simple by comparison because we simply need to know the amount of torque to be held and we'll select a brake and disc combination to provide that amount of torque. The third type of application are tensioning applications. The purpose of the brakes in these applications is to provide a constant torque to a rotating mass to apply a tension in the material on that roll. For these types of applications, since they are continuous duty, we want to make sure that we calculate the energy creation and the heat dissipation to make sure that the brake and disc combination is suitable to dissipate the heat. These are the three main types of applications that we see. To view more details and step-by-step -step sizing instructions, please download our caliper disc brake catalog on our website at wcbranham.com.